Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters, and debunkers. You're looking at a snapshot of some footage I took of the night sky uh, and what appears to be a grid network in the sky. Uh, I captured this completely by accident while filming stars, and uh, I was doing this at the same time as taking some time exposure snapshots. Uh, the night was very, very clear, and uh, I went out to see what I could see and was very, very surprised to see this in a few seconds of uh, some footage. So I'll let that run now for you, and you can watch it in at normal speed, and then I'm going to play it at uh, a slower speed and um, with some uh, the graphics enhanced a little bit, and uh, we'll have another look at what other people are saying about these grid lines in the sky. And here are some snapshots of that footage, uh, enhanced in various ways, just to see if I can bring out the grid lines a little bit better. And this one is uh, as I was zooming in on the star, so you can still see the line there. And here's a photograph of the patch of sky that I was videoing just now, so you can see that there are no obstructions. I deliberately chosen a place with a clear unobstructed view of the sky. And just to give some technical information, one thing I did differently with this particular shot is I'd um, taken the shutter speed down to about six, the lowest it could go, and uh, just to try and get as much exposure as I could. The focus was at its maximum, I'd set that manually, and uh, it was recording at 50 frames per second. Uh, so hopefully this information will help uh, others try to capture this. And here are some of the snapshots I was taking with the other camera. Uh, these were time exposure shots between 30 and 60 seconds uh, with an ISO of between 200 and 400 and uh, the aperture setting or the f-stop setting at about 5.6, I think, the lowest I could get for that particular uh, setting. This shot is the longest time exposure I took that night, looking at precisely the same patch of sky as we saw the grid lines, uh, but obviously nothing to be seen in that particular image. And here are a couple more very interesting shots with um, what I presume to be light pollution from uh, possibly a nearby street light. These were taken from uh, my balcony, um, but it's uh, quite a curiosity, the, the colors you get. So let's have a look at uh, what other people are saying. A quick Google search took me to uh, people recounting uh, experiences on LSD and uh, saying how they had also seen uh, grid lines in the sky. Some people saying they see hexagonal shapes and others uh, mentioning similar things to what I've seen here. Uh, we have a discussion on uh, about pop top secret as well. Uh, I see lines in the sky, magnetic grid, and this is my first assumption as well that uh, what we're seeing is uh, possibly ley lines or these magnetic lines 
and uh, by all accounts this is something that some people are able to see with their own eyes uh, maybe they tuned into it when they were uh, younger or they had a trip and uh, since that trip they've always been able to see them but uh, uh, it seems common that they occur during the twilight hours and the accounts by people that claim to see these lines are of seeing them just for a few seconds uh, often by chance I do like the idea that they are ley lines which uh, animals use to migrate find their way around uh, but uh, kind of looks like a dome or a tunnel kind of effect uh, not sure what to make of that. Obviously, perspective is something that is worth taking into consideration as well. Uh, but now, obviously, I'm not discounting the possibility that this is a technical issue or an artifact which can occur with uh, digital uh, videography like this, especially at night. Uh, but uh, from what I can see so far, uh, the lines appear to be something that was actually there. And here's what I thought was rather a curious response on a forum dedicated to helping people work out certain issues with digital photography. This person had seen a similar thing when uh, photographing a patch of sky, asked the question, uh, is uh, basically uh, assuming that it was some kind of technical issue um, but uh, the post got closed down by the moderator they uh, deemed it inappropriate and uh, not to do with the forum content but having looked at the rules and regulations uh, this was what the person thought was a technical issue but uh, the moderator seemed to think otherwise and didn't want to indulge in the subject, it seems. So there you go. Um, very, very interesting, curiouser and curiouser as we go down the rabbit hole. I'll just leave you with that footage one more time and bid you farewell until the next time. And of course, I will be trying in the meantime to get more of this footage. Let's see if it can be reproduced and it would be great to see if uh, anyone else can capture this, thank you very much.